to participate in the service and she puts it together into a comprehensive whole and when it's all together it is just such a, a, a joy to see. We've got uh, kids doing uh, musical uh, pieces. Um, we have um, uh, those of us who provide, uh, that are on the staff that provide things. We put our things together. I shot my parts up in the mountains on Saturday and um, communion will be in the most beautiful cathedral you've seen in your life. And when I'm preaching in the background, a, a guy just sort of walks past and uh, starts fly fishing uh, in the distance. It's really cool. Um, and I, you know, I sort of struggle with having fun putting together worship services, things that aren't possible, wouldn't possibly be possible if we were worshiping together in the sanctuary. And it kind of makes me go, well, what do I do with those good feelings? Because they, they certainly come out of uh, pain, this pain of separation. So uh, part of me says, well, I shouldn't feel good about um, what worship is, what we're able to do with worship. And then I started thinking about what grief is and how when we're at a, for example, a memorial service uh, and, or at a wake and, and we share uh, stories that make us laugh, um, with the memories of the deceased and those are wonderful you know we both grieve and have joy we are cry we cry through our tears and we laugh through our tears and so you know this have feeling joy over what we're able to do with worship during a time of such pain is kind of I think okay like a grieving and that as we've said about grieving for the last five months um, you need to feel what you feel, but I do hope that you feel some joy and gratitude in the middle of it. And so I've, I've come to the conclusion today that I can feel joyful about what we're able to do, even though our time of separation is painful. I hope you'll watch on Sunday. I, we're starting the series on uh, Moses and the liberation story. And I love the 1956 Ten Commandments kitschy, as kitschy a movie as possible. And so when we're doing our pre-recorded services, uh, I have included clips of uh, the Ten Commandments into uh, following the scripture. I, uh, Moses uh, parting the waters, there could be no better image than Charleston Heston uh, in the Ten Commandments in 1956. That's coming later. This Sunday is uh, baby Moses set into the Nile. So, <clears throat> feeling joyful this morning, uh, feeling um, as, as though that sometimes is challenging to feel during periods of grief, but that it is, in fact, okay. And I hope that you have a grateful day.